I'm going to make a uh, a vegetarian risotto. I could use chicken stock, but that wouldn't be vegetarian. And I could make a vegetable stock with the vegetables, but that's like taking a lot of time. And so instead of doing it like that, what we're going to do is saute all the vegetables with the risotto, the shiitake mushrooms, which give off a great flavor. And that's going to be our risotto. So first thing is put a couple of tablespoons of olive oil in there. Take all the vegetables, everything that was diced up. And if you buy large carrots, the good thing is it's easier to dice than those carrots that come in a bag. So we put everything in there. I'm going to just saute this for a second. Then I'm going to put the rice. And we'll have a little white wine to put in there. And instead of using Parmesan cheese, I'm going to use Asiago cheese. Why? No, no good reason, just to be a little different. And a cup of good tomato basil sauce that you're going to make. So in here we're going to put a tablespoon of a good sea salt, which this is because it has great coloring that's not too white, meaning it hasn't been re as refined as the other one, as your typical table salt that you buy, that you find in the supermarket. And you can use pepper, but I'm going to use a little sriracha hot sauce. I'll mix this in to get everything off that spoon. So we're starting here, and I have three cups of arborio rice. And why am I sauteing this first a little bit? Uh, because it's a lot. Don't forget, the vegetables take up space. So I didn't make stock. I want just to shrink a little bit. Then I'll we'll put the rice in there <clears throat> and have enough room to play. If you notice it shrinks rather quickly. We're not wasting film. So you see the flame? Moderate flame. Cook this for about two minutes. Now I'm going to add the arborio rice. It's cooked down quite a bit, about four or five minutes. Mix this. And now the salt that I put, that was just for now. We'll taste this later. We might put more. We put the white wine and the tomato, followed with some water. And remember, if you don't want to put the vegetables in there like that, and you want to use it with ch use chicken stock, well then it won't be vegetarian, but it'll be the way you like it. But this is kind of, this of course is easier to do. Now the only thing you have to do is stay with this. You have to stir it. Is the only not fun part of making this.
Uh, you can make this somewhat ahead of time by cooking it like three quarters of the way and then leaving it on the stove. Then, when it's time to finish up and serve, just put it back on the stove and finish. So keep on adding liquid. I'm cooking this on a moderate flame, because once it starts, it's going to keep on cooking. I'll be mixing this. So we just keep on stirring and adding a little more liquid. Now what I have done to my risotto in the past, which you don't find too many recipes doing it, but I don't really care because it has a great texture and taste. I add heavy cream to it and of course there should be butter in here but we're using olive oil so this is vegetarian and of course butter comes from an animal so if I put butter in here it wouldn't be vegetarian and virgin olive oil gives off a nice flavor anyway so you stay with this keep on mixing adding more liquid as it goes down a little bit and then before you know it it'll be done now I'm liking the amount of everything that's in there the mushrooms the vegetables the tomato so just keep on going like this as you see it cooks down a little, add more liquid. And I'm using a thick bottom stainless steel pot. So you don't want to use one of those thin tinny skillets to cook this. This little scorch stick. You could use cast iron, but I gave up on cast iron because they're ugly. So keep on going like that. Well, it's coming along. I made one slight error. This is vegetarian and I put Asiago cheese. So we're going to have to cancel the cheese on this. This has been, so far, about a half hour. You notice it's not runny. It's going to get a little dry, so we just add a little more. And I'm glad I'm using <laughs> this size uh, pan. Because the rice does expand. And it's, a, it's the correct size. You should always be cooking the item in the pan that it fits in. Something not too big and, of course, not too small. So we keep on going like this. So far, I have added, just to have an idea, this coffee mug. Oh, about four of these. We are done. I don't know, it took maybe about 45 minutes. And to finish this off, to give it a good, solid kick, That's a tablespoon of black truffle oil. It is, of course, it's not made with real truffles unless it cost a uh, million dollars a can. But it's made with olive oil and flavoring and it dynamite. So there we go. Not runny, just right. We're going to make a plate. How many will this serve? Let's see now. I would say 
You can do this for an appetizer uh, for about eight people. And we'll put it in a the correct type plate. And you have to serve this immediately. And that is plenty for an appetizer. And we'll sprinkle some scallions over it or some chopped parsley. And there you go. I'm going to sit down and eat this and I hope you enjoy it too.